Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at how uh, the cucumbers grew. Now, these cucumbers well, well, the last uh, update on these cucumbers ended like this. And this was back in the last couple of days of May. Today is August 1st, and we're going to show you how these did. They they did quite well. Well, these are my cucumbers here, and I've got a problem with them that I, I never really thought about before. One of the things, one of the reasons is because I've never let cucumbers grow this prolifically before. I just kind of, I don't know, not taking care of them properly. But this year I have been. And what I'm getting is a lot of vines, and I've got to have, I've got to, have to prepare a place for these vines to go. Let me show you what I mean. Now, if you can see right here, you can see I've got a lot of little cucumbers growing, and some back there, and I want to keep them growing. But see, as you can see, this plant starts way back in here, and there's one vine that goes all the way up there, and you see it's been clinging to the string and uh, where I can help it I've tried to uh, put it on that string or maybe just even just done something like this where I you know put it up there like that see now there's another one I did that the other day as you can see this vine is going all the way up here now the problem is is uh, I've got another one here see it's coming off and now what am I going to do with that and I've got some more vines up here. What am I going to do with that? But right now the pressing problem is these vines over here. You can see there's one coming up and it won't be able to go any taller. So what do I do with that? And uh, there's one here. See? Look at that. It's growing up on the string. I guess I could string that up a little taller. But what I'm going to do is you see how I've got this little pipe here. That's kind of handy for them to uh, use. But I've also found that, see, just putting a string across, you can see right there it's wrapped around there, just putting a string across them to uh, cross to climb on helps a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, the trouble is, you see these little uh, little hooks that I've got up there. And there's another one back there, see, right back in here. And it's, <laughs> well, there's a hook, you can see it. But, and there's another hook right here for the strings. I don't, uh, see there's the, where is that? There's the string going up there and there's a hook up there, see? Now, I don't have uh, any more hooks over this way. And if you notice, this vine right here, see that I just showed you, it goes all the way out here. Clear out, you know, about, I don't know, three feet away. So what I've got to do is, oops, I just dumped them in the water there. So what I've got to do is put a couple more uh, hooks over here so that I can uh, put another string over here and just give them something to, uh, to, clang, to cling on to. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little drill here. I'm going to start a pilot hole up there. And then I'm going back here to my little hook thing. I've got a, I've got a little, yeah, here we go. Found it. I've got a little... Uh, a little container full of little hooks. Now I'm going to just put about three or four of these hooks up in strategic places and, and then use this string here. This is nylon string to string between them. Then I'm going to string those uh, those uh, cucumber vines up. Okay, so I put a couple more put a couple more uh, hooks up there. Now, let's get a nylon string out. Let's put a loop in this end. Okay, so I got the two strings, uh, as you can see on the ceiling there, all set up, and then I uh, started to string some of these vines that were laying there, and uh, try not to break them. They're kind of delicate, but if you can just get a turn or two, usually they'll they'll hang on. They have tendrils too. If they can feel 
You see those little stringy things, that long strings with the curls on the ends there? If those things can feel that string, they'll grab onto it too. So now we'll go over for the other string over here and uh, get that one strung around there. And then as I walked up to the other end here in just a second, I thought, oh yeah, there's one over there. And, I, and so that one there, I could wind it around the string that was already there. It just, it had a little bit of, uh, of height left on the string. So I wrapped that one around up there. But uh, as you can see, the vines are growing tremendously now. I planted these, if you remember, I transplanted these in about 28th of May. And this is the 1st of August, so they have grown this much. And we have harvested, uh, I don't know, a handful of the cucumbers off of these already. So they're already in production. So now, this, these vines have a place to go. And it won't take long before they'll run out of room on there. So in fact, here's one right here. There you go. So, but we'll have a place to grow, and these will be able to grow this way. And I'm going to put some more cucumbers over here. So, uh, we're going to get all the room we can. Okay, well, we're going to go into my little grow room here. And these are some more cucumbers that I planted here I had a little while ago. I'll put a little note on the bottom when it was. But you can see, here's one that's just barely coming up. And the rest of these are coming up just fine. So what we're going to do is take these, plant them out in the greenhouse right now. Okay, so here are those uh, cucumber plants that I was telling you about. What we're going to do is plant them right in here. You know, see, there's the there's the cucumber vines, and we're going to have a space here where these are eggplant, and they're not doing too well. But we're going to plant these in here. Now, the way I'm going to do this, you see, I got these. Uh, these uh, grow cups or these uh, net cups. And I've got seven of these, so I'm going to plant. You can see the roots on the outside of that? They're looking pretty nice. So I'm going to put seven of these in here. One. Okay, so there they are, all planted. Now, five of them. And uh, like I was saying, I had eight altogether, actually. I thought I had seven, but there's eight. So there's two more. One more, I guess. Where did I put it? Yeah, there's one more right there. See him way back there hiding? Okay, then I took and took the last two over here on the other side of the greenhouse, past the composter, past these volunteer whatever they are. Now, they're over here, going down here. Now, okay. So as you can see, there they are. One, two, three, yeah, I guess there's two of them. I thought there was three. Anyway, two of them. Now we'll see how they grow. And the reason I put these two over here is maybe they grow better on this side. Maybe they don't. It's just to, to see what the, the difference is in the environment. But as you can see, I've got some brassicas over there. And they're not really doing too well. And these over here, they're not doing too well. And I think it's primarily because it's been so hot in here the last couple of days, or the last month, I guess. So I guess the brassicas really don't like that.